So just going to elaborate a bit more on the security. So security is a big part of this device, but it's not something we're really focusing on, on this workshop. Um, so as new devices come out, Chris has highlighted that all the security features will be enhanced um, every time we launch a new device now. Um, and the U5 is no exception. So we've actually added new features, enhanced existing features and added new features um, to the uh, device. And Chris has already described the screen uh, pretty well. So depending on if you're got the device with the hardware encryption, you will get more of these features. Um, otherwise, you'll be using the, um, the crypto libs to provide the software features on those devices that you've selected. So what, what, the device that is on your Nucleo board is the non crypto version. Um, so you won't have some of the um, AES and sharp features available to you in hardware, but you can run the software libraries on that device. Um, so it depends on which physical sales type you've got will depend on mainly on the cryptography features. All the other features you see on these screens so the isolation, life cycle, the memory protections, tamper uh, and the trust anchor. All of those are available on 575 non crypto and 585 crypto based devices. So, so it's only really the the uh, main cryptography uh, features that vary. So where do you find out about all these um, security features? So we've got lots of links um, for security. So it's about two years ago we did the security workshop. Um, so this is the reason why we're not focusing very heavily on security on this particular workshop. Um, so we've already got a lot of information out there. So if I click on each of these um, web links, um, so the first web link there, that'll take us, take you to our ST Trust Zone. So there's lots of information about the um, the IP protection, data protection, connectivity, and things like that. If you click on certification, it whizzes you down the screen. So this is where Chris was highlighting that we've now got the ARM PSA level three. Uh, and here you can actually see what the certification actually is. Uh, same with CSIP, so you can see level three is a white box time limited. So and you can actually see which of our other devices are compliant with these different certifications as well. So it's a very good link that one is to get to see different parts of um, what's available, um, hardware security modules, um, an add-on package. So anything that starts X-Cube of the add-on packages, uh, that's for the PC ROP family, for the uh, selected devices uh, highlighted there, um, showing you how the uh, hardware security module works with our Q programmer tool and how it's all managed and things like that. And you've got links to things like the crypto libs uh, as well inside this page. So it's a very, very good link this one is. Even covers our MP1 family. So uh, there's links there for the, um, the trusted section of the MP1. Uh, so TFA, so trusted firmware for A devices and we're using the TFM trusted firmware for M based devices inside our devices there. So that's a very good link um, to get a good understanding of what we have to offer uh, within the worlds of security. The second link on that uh, slide you saw a minute ago is for our e-learning program. So this is um, all our training videos um, that we have. So if you do want to start learning about all the security features we have inside um, the devices, as I say, we created all these when we launched our L5 workshop about two years ago. Um, so most of the features in the L5 are present in the U5. Um, obviously, a few have been enhanced and a couple of new ones I'll um, elaborate on a bit more in the coming slides. Uh, but here you can go through all the different learning courses about our 
security in the STM32. And if you do need to go to a higher level security, then we've got um, devices like ST Safe as well, um, which are a, a higher standard of security, which sits next to a standard STM32 device. So in that security e-learning program, as I say, there's lots of different chapters, um, depending on what level you're currently up to with security. Um, it's been done in collaboration with other teams around the world. So defining security needs was done by our American uh, colleagues uh, and security in practice has been done by us here in Europe and our Asian colleagues. So, so security has been defined by all the different regions um, of ST uh, and focusing on different elements in that. So, so there's plenty of um, items in the e-learning um, program for you to actually look through. Because we're now using the CM33 core in the L5 and the U5, we've gained this new feature called Trust Zone from ARM, um, which is helping you to um, separate different parts of the project so some are very secure so which is in the trust zone area and then some will be um, less secure which are the ones that are probably dealing with the connectivity to the outside world so so we've got different um, items there so these ones are all on our youtube one so this is how to enable um, the trust zone so we've got a nice video there um, on how to enable trust zone and the second link that was on that one was um, learning more about um, using the trust zone. So as I say, that's part one of nine, um, and that's all to do with um, setting up the trust zone with the L5 family and the Cortex M33 core. So the M33 core is in the U5, so everything you're learning here is relevant to the U5 device as well. And finally, we've got the new features. So these are the new features that are dedicated to the U5. So Chris has highlighted on them. Um, so we've got the Keyed RDP, um, which has its own um, YouTube video already. So that already exists uh, today. So you can actually go and see about the Keyed RDP. So we've got a theory presentation and we've got a very nice hands on to show you how to practice uh, setting up the different passwords so that you can do your RDP regression um, in a secure manner. And then for the HUK or the hardware unique keys, um, this one's still to come. Um, so eventually it'll be added to our security e-learning program. Um, and that video will be hopefully available later this year uh, for the hardware unique keys. So that's really a high speed um, look around the um, security world and what we've got to offer. 